spoke a word You were singing over me You have been so, so good to me Before I took a breath You breathed your life in me You have been so, so kind to me Oh, the overwhelming, never-ending, reckless love of God Oh, it chases me down, fights till I'm found, leaves the night and I I couldn't earn it, and I don't deserve it, still you Still your love fought for me You have been so, so good to me When I felt no words, you paid it all for me You have been so, so
Hi, Pastor Bill of Bethel Lutheran Church in Green Valley. And today is May 2nd, it's a Saturday, and I want to welcome you to our online uh, chapel and also remind you that tomorrow, being a Sunday, we don't have a video online. Rather, we meet in the church parking lot for in vehicle worship. I want to remind you to that. And if you would, pass on that information to friends. We begin with prayer. Dear God, all of creation reminds us of you, the beauty of nature, and the marvel of the changing seasons, the uniqueness in all of us and the diversity in the daily horizon. Surround us with reminders of you often, through nature, through the people whom you place in our lives, and the Bible. May the Holy Spirit help us to understand your word and your will for our lives. Bless our hearts with sustaining joy and the strength to hold on to it, no matter what. Amen. Our passage for today is from the 15th chapter of the book of Luke, the first seven verses. By this time, a lot of men and women of doubtful reputation were hanging around Jesus, listening intently. Pharisees and religious scholars were not pleased, not at all pleased. They growled. He takes in sinners and eats meals with them, treating them like old friends. Their grumbling triggered this story. Jesus said, Suppose one of you had a hundred sheep and lost one. Wouldn't you leave the ninety-nine in the wilderness and go after the lost one until you found it? And when found, you can be sure you would put it across your shoulders, rejoicing. And when you got home, call in your friends and neighbors, saying, Celebrate with me. I found my lost sheep. Count on it. There's more joy in heaven over one sinner's rescued life than over 99 good people in no need of rescue. Whenever I think about this particular Bible passage, uh, I'm pretty certain that most sermons target the lost sheep. When I preached on this in the past, I've often, frequently, most often, talked about the lost sheep of the 100. That the 99, they're doing okay, but there's the lost sheep. And I would relate that to people in the pew hearing the sermon about how we need to see ourselves as that, as that lost sheep that God always pursues. And that is an important piece of imagery because it involves our faith. How God does come after us through the cross, through the empty tomb. But I'd like to look at it today from a different angle. And I think it's an angle that is not used often enough. How are you the shepherd in this story? How is it in your own life that you are in the position of seeing that one lost sheep straying from the group and you can do something about it? You can reach out. You can be the person that reaches out to that one individual who does feel lost and who feels that going through life they feel no sense of security. They, they feel no sense of the absolute. You can be that shepherd through the power of the Holy Spirit, through God's power within you. You can be the shepherd that reaches out to the person who is in need. We are all in the position of the lost sheep, the one out of the hundred. And we sense always the shepherd coming after us. But I would encourage you to look at the role of the shepherd and how you can live your life exactly in that role. Only through the grace of God. Only through the power of His Holy Spirit. May God be in your life now. And may indeed His Spirit grace your day. Amen. 
close our gathering with the praying of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord of living be with you today and always. Amen.